Okay, we're back. Uh, with another episode. Let's go. Let's. Uh... Wait, motion blur is off, right? Motion blurs are just tedious, to be honest. and witness events connected to it. You feel its history. It's an echo in the force from the object. Not many Jedi have that skill. How would you know that? I was once a Jedi, but not anymore. Do I know you? No, but I knew your master, Jaro Tapal. He was a true guardian of the Republic was a hero. Listen. Something happened to me during the purge. I survived, but my connection to the Force is damaged. When I meditate, if I let my guard down, I lose control. And it's like I'm back in that moment when... You survived, Cal. And you're not alone. Not anymore. We'll come up on our destination. This is Bagana. A Jedi I knew discovered it before the Purge. You won't find it on any maps. The Empire doesn't know this place exists? No. So, what's the plan? We hide out here? We're done hiding, Cal. See that structure over there? I believe that vault holds the key to rebuilding the Jedi Order. But it requires someone strong in the Force to pass its test. And since you're not a Jedi anymore, that's why you need me. I know you don't trust me. And I'm not really sure I trust you. But we have a common enemy. And a common cause. I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. But, until then, there's someone here I think you should meet. May the Force be with you. What was that? Guess I'm looking for a Jedi then. But if there's already one here, why does Seer need me? Okay, so that cutscene actually answers some questions. I even forgot to mention the master that we saw in his vision. Um. <laughs> what? Uh. Yeah, anyways, so they talked about the master. Uh. What is that? Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on. Okay, and we also confirmed that she was a Jedi before. Um, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> you okay up there? Need some help? I thought you said you weren't a Jedi anymore. <laughs> Alright. Cut you down, or...? Yeah, sure. All right. Okay. I mean, 
that force levitate? Nah, it's not levitation. This is more like force standing on invisible objects, I think. Can we sneak in? No. We probably have to use force slow or something to get to them. I'll just call it slow. Some stuff down here. Okay. Right. We also leveled... <laughs> we also leveled up. Hold on. Um, customization. Nah. That's ugly. Don't like it. Nah, I don't like that too. Let's see. Can we... No? No level up points or anything? Okay, let's see. What are we doing here? Oh yeah, I'm not sure if you noticed, but did you see the George Lucas scene? Um, Segway, the, the PowerPoint slide, the typical black slide that he uses. We used. It's like, yeah. Uh, huh. Hey there, little guy. Traditional Star Wars uh, scene transi uh, transition. What is this? What the? Well, that hole seems su su like suspiciously. Equally sized to this ball. Maybe I have to force push it? No force push though. And my guess is that door will open if I do that. Yeah. Seems like it. Can I climb? No. Oh! I, that is some tough metal. I'm gonna guess that I can't do that yet. It's a wild guess, I know. She's still here? Yep, she's still chilling out. Over there. Let's see. Let's see if the, the, I can get those guys to pop up. Never mind, let's move on. Oh, I was gonna force force slow. Oh fine. What's that? This seems like some sort of uh... no? This looks like a safe place to meditate. Just need to focus my mind. Save points. Save points and locate through Gal's Mem journey. Make sure to interact with them to save save your progress. You can can rest and spend skill points. Okay, so I can't just. Okay, so I have to be at a save point to. Okay. Check out the skill three. Spend your skill points to learn overhead slash. Powerful strike that is deadly against weaker enemies. F. Uses force. Okay. How do you do it? Did it break guard, by the way? Oh, it did break guard, okay. How does one do this? F. Okay. 
I'll I'll check out the skill tree, rest of the tree in a second. I just oh. Okay. Hey, BD one. I'm Cal. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just I'm looking for someone. No, not you. <laughs> I'm searching for a, a Jedi. I think. Hold on. Y you know the Jedi? What do you know? Wait. Hold on. Did you just slice that? Thanks. Okay. Just wait for me. BD one. <laughs> what a cute thing, by the way. Uh, what was I gonna do? I was gonna check the controls. That was uh, that's what I was gonna do. Um, controls, right? Droid interact R, heal Q. Okay, that's gonna be important, probably. Single blade, double blade. Okay. Okay, the attacks aren't actually noted here in the uh, keybinds. That's that's what I was gonna check. Um, so overhead is F. Cool. Dash strike. Hold F. Okay. You, I'm guessing that's dash and then you strike. Jump while dashing to flip over the target instead. Okay. Ah, so this is where all the different uh, fighting moves come in. Attack, evasive kick. Attacking after a, a quick evade allows you to perform a kick attack. So shift and then attack, okay. Or dash attack, gotcha. Sprint strike, okay. You sprint and then you strike. Does it does all of this take force? Yeah, it seems to consume force, maybe? I don't know. But how do you replenish replenish force? Yeah, that looks like yeah. <laughs> took some force. Leaping slash. Another powerful attack after an overhead slash. I'm a little bit disappointed I didn't include, like, the theory of the different uh, fighting styles in Star Wars. Like, this is, uh, I believe, Anakin, or Darth Vader's predominant fighting style. I don't remember which style it is. Uh, number, I think it's two. No, three, I think. The one where you use a lot of powerful strikes. Some two-handed weapon strikes and whatnot. I mean, Anakin in the lore is uh, well versed in multiple fighting styles, but I believe his uh, primary fighting style was the uh, the very powerful heavy attack uh, fighting style, which I think is number three. I don't, I don't remember. Um, whilst Obi Wan was like more defensive, so it was, like this, for instance, would be Obi Wan maximum life. Blocking improved, less stamina damage. Maximum force is increased. Holding slow allows Cal to slow his targets for a longer duration. Okay. So yeah, like dash strike would be the fighting style that combines the use of uh, lightsaber and force in combat. It would be kind of fun if they included that. But oh well. Oh well. But I guess that's a little bit too much RPG and a little less like Souls Adventure game. So it's understandable they decided not to go that way. It'd just be fun for those of us that actually find that interesting. That's the Vault Seer mentioned. Whoever I'm supposed to find must be waiting there. Here we get the map. objective can always be sent on BD-8s. 
be the ones all hollow map. Eh. Well, that's actually very intuitive. Clever. The controls for the maps, very clever. I like it. Right. Can I pick you up? No? Where do I want to go? Should I go in here? Is there something... <laughs> is busy? I sense something over here. It's a really big bug. Okay, I took a lot of damage from that. Still busy, huh? What is that? It was after boggling eggs and the pack fought back. Aww. Dead Splocks. That's cute. I mean, the Splocks is cute, but it's sad that they're dead. Okay, so you can collect the information and stuff. No way they're here. Guess that's why BD1 warned me. Alright, maybe I'll listen to you next time. Uh, what? Stuck on something? I wonder if sprinting actually increases jump distance or not. Any ideas? <gasps> Gotta get across this gap somehow. A little bit of choppiness. How do I? I interact with this. Well, this is a gamble. Oh! How'd you know that would work? Wait, you didn't? <laughs> Doors lock from the other side. So shortcut. I hear you, but there's something over here I want to explore. Oh, meditation. Should probably do that. Great. Thank you very much. So, I drop. Something over here. Chest. Something over there. Let's just drop down. Oh, okay, nothing. Well, there's something over there, that's for sure. 
But is there a way to get over there? No. Okay, I guess we have to force slow. I was kind of hoping for another way. Oh, okay. The above. I can still feel the excitement. Oh. Cool. Oh, I want to try something before I press this button. What happens if I? Okay, nothing. The damage actually. I just wanted to check if like it still carried momentum. You just kind of time warped because. Uh... It could still, I guess, carry its momentum, but it didn't, so... It doesn't damage you if you... Something up there. For sure. percent of something up there. How do I get there? <laughs> okay. I think I have to return here later. Could be some climbing mechanic or some some point on the wall that I can latch to. I can't really see. Was that it? Okay, no, it doesn't look like it. Maybe I have to come back. Maybe I have to, or maybe I have to find another way in. We'll see. This is the way in. Stuck on something again? No? Some vines over here. I, I think that's a trap. Maybe I should have rested before I actually. That thing looks like it smells worse than Grease does. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Okay, I guess we have to go fight this. Because I know that when an attack is red, you can't parry. <laughs> that I know. That much I know.
Ooh, okay. I wasn't even sure if I... I could do that. Also, if I died there, I wouldn't bother to go back to that uh, chubby thing. It seems tough. Like, it one-shot me. Well, I was, I was hurt, though, to be fair. What? I didn't even hit it. I, I actually didn't even hit the thing. <laughs> what? I lost my experience. Ugh. I didn't even punch him one time. Are you serious? My god, we've just barely started and I already lost experience. <laughs> Delightful. I said I wasn't gonna do it if I lost my experience, but do you know what? Let's F this guy up. It's meat on the menu tonight, boys. I think that's just a quote from a movie. That is... Uh, I need to take some time and... Uh, learn the attack patterns. I can already sense what's going to be the most annoying thing about uh, failing these encounters. It's for sure going to be um, the walking from uh, the meditation station to uh, to uh, the fight itself. Dying to the fight is not a big deal, honestly. Oh, okay. You know, what? Okay, so you get it. Okay, so it doesn't vanish. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I didn't actually look at how much life uh, or how much damage we dealt to it. Try again. I dodged too soon. Shit. I knew it. I saw it when it happened. Like, whenever you dodge too soon and the target is starts tracking you, you know, when they're charging up, that's when you know you, you screwed up. That's when you know you screwed up big time. <laughs> and, I, and I knew it. <laughs> I just wasn't saying anything because I was like, maybe, me no. I, I did use my first slow well, I think. The second one, I kind of messed up. Like, when it was jumping away, and I was pointless. Like, half the time, half the uh, slow duration, I was just running after it. That's kind of far, though.
Oh, I fucked up again. This game isn't really made for dashing, that's for sure. Jumping is actually not that bad. Again, we weren't far off, honestly. I think I can do it. Oh, the slow! What? Oh, what? The slow really screwed that up for me. The whole slowdown when you recover your force and stuff that really messed it up. Can I turn that off? Is there any way? Any way to turn that off? I don't think so. Oh, that is that is distracting. I'm not gonna lie. Like when you hit the target that has your force, or your essence, or whatever, like it slows down so hard. It doesn't really give you a cue as to when it's uh, gonna go back to normal. And when the parry timings are so tight, it's really distracting. It's actually harder to deal with than, uh, than everything else. I don't like this slowdown when when you hit the thingy. But I guess I'll get used to it. We're doing better. Getting a little bit more consistent. I see some stuttering in game. I hope that that doesn't get caught in the recording. If it does, I'm sorry. I'm not entirely sure how to fix it. Oof. That's bad. I think I should focus more on parrying. Actually, less on dodging. I am a dodger myself, but I know that parrying probably is better. So we try again. More focus on parry. I have more than enough patience in the bank right now, so I can do this until I defeat it. My hunger levels still aren't that high. Not time for dinner quite yet. Still a couple of hours away, so I can still keep up a positive attitude. <laughs> at least for a, at least for another half an hour. <laughs> oh. Okay. Did I get stun locked? Not sure. Not sure. You actually have to be quite ag aggressive, I think, on Jedi Grandmaster. I think that the other difficulties probably allow you to sit back a little bit and just counter-attack, counter-attack. But I think that in the highest difficulty, you actually have to be aggressive and then put pressure on the enemy. 
and then just counter, like constantly countering or parrying. I think that's the way to go. I think sitting back and trying to par uh, parry everything and just counter attacking everything is a bad thing. Oh, that's bad. Got the timing off. <laughs> oh, it's tough. It's so hard. When you don't know any of the moves, it's so hard. <laughs> But I shall not give up. I refuse to give up. Seriously? Is it unblockable? I mean, un uncounterable? Parryable? I haven't been able to parry that thing. That move, I think. I'm not sure if the yellow glow hides the... Um, the red glow. Try again. Go! No! I tried to slow! What did I click? I wasn't even sure what I was clicking. <laughs> I don't think my heavy attack is going to be any useful here. I barely have time for it. Maybe I need to change my dash button to spacebar, honestly. What the hell am I supposed to use for a jump? That slow lasted for like a whole of 0 0.1 seconds. <laughs> no way. Wow, that, that didn't last long at all. But we're doing good. We're doing good. We're getting the patterns down. Actually using slow there messed it up. Because... uh Yeah, I thought I had more time. I committed to an attack. But man, they're relentless. They weren't kidding when they said that Jedi Grandmaster, like, the enemy's relentless. It just doesn't stop. I still don't know how to parry that one. I still don't know the timing of that move. I'm determined to beat this. I'm honestly determined to beat this. I don't know if this is a tough enemy or what it is, but I mean, I'm sure it's like supposed to be an early challenge, but I'm going to destroy this asshole. Just wait. Ah, oh, damn. 
And that was a little bit too, too soon. Just a tiny bit too soon. Maybe I should try to jump. Not dash, but jump. I think so. I think the jump puts me further away. I think the, 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 the dash is meant for you to just slightly dash around the enemy. Uh, the jump is really what's supposed to get you out of like heavy attacks, like big attacks, I think. I don't know, of course, because I'm a noob, but that's the feeling I'm getting. I'm, I keep messing up that parry. I don't know when to parry that move. But I'm fairly certain, actually. Jump is what I'm supposed to use for big attacks. While dash is just like... To dash, like, close range. Like, around the end. That's... Uh, I'm, I'm fairly certain. At least from what I've seen so far. Maybe I just jump away from that double double bite. You know, just ah, that's not how you deal with it. Gotta get the parrying that parry timing down. We shall do it. Oh no! I went for attack number three. I got greedy. No. I actually jumped out of the double bite. <laughs> I chickened out. <laughs> oh man. Never, never three attacks. Never three, three attacks. Only two. Ugh. Punished for being greedy. Only two attacks. That's exactly the window it gives you. just bad. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing there. So, I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. I'm being massacred. In case you're wondering. But spirits are still high. Attitude is still positive. I messed that up. Not sure how. But okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> Not really, but in my mind, I'm saying we're getting there. I'm slowly developing like a portfolio of how to deal with. Oh, I hate this slow. No, no, not that thing again. Oh, the timing on that. It's so weird because all his other moves have such a tight window, but that thing is like. 
You have to wait for so long. Man, that thing and the double bite, that has gotten me so many times by now. The worst part is I know what my mistake is. I just... I'm just a little bit slow to incorporate it into, like... My, my matrix. Oh, that must have been split second too late. I actually kinda, kinda suspected that would happen. I realized I jumped a tiny bit too late. I went for an extra attack. That was so easy. Ah, oh, man. I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that I was a little bit too late there. But it got me midair. Like, just as I was about to jump, I was like, shit, am I too late? And then I got midair. Or into the air, and I was like, I think I made it, and then I got hit. God dang it. But nah, that was that was a little bit late. I was a little bit late on the first attack, and then I went in for the second as well, and that's what push, pushed me over the edge, I think. What the? Was that his charge? I think so, yeah. I think the glow covered it up, I can see. But we were doing good on the previous one. We were doing good. We're getting there slowly. I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to deal with this right now. Like, am I even supposed to kill this? I mean, I guess you can kill whatever you want whenever you want, but... Uh, what? Whew. Okay, let's go. What? What was that? Okay, I have an idea. Maybe I have to jump back and then jump to the side. I don't think I can just abuse slow every time he does it. Man, that was that was hard. That was harsh. I think I even well, I probably jumped that a little bit too soon. Man, the timings. I'll be trying. Uh Is it just me or does it look like he's jumping into the air, into the frog? The toad or lizard or whatever it is. I don't think dot jump is the correct way to deal with that. I think it's gonna be an evade. Like tight timing evade. I think I have to circle it somehow. So it's not gonna be a jump. Jump is for a double bite, I think. Ah, sad. That was just messed up. Hmm. It's tough. Not being able to get hit. But I think I can do it. I'm going to do it. Might have to upload a double episode because this is gonna take so long, but I will do it. Come on. Oh, 
god, that's my bad. That's just stupid. I'm thinking of maybe evading instead. I legitimately have to fight this without getting hit. It's not easy. Instead of jumping. I think if I jump, I need to stop committing to an attack afterwards. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I don't know how to parry that attack. Uh, I've tried multiple windows. I just can't get it done. The thing is, I'm not even sure if getting, like, delaying the fight and getting uh, more life is gonna matter because it just deals so much damage. I mean, I would need so much more life to be able to take multiple hits. I don't even think the game is gonna give me that much life this early. <laughs> like, the bar is gonna be twice the screen. <laughs> Yeah, that's a mistake. He, ju he jumps forwards. Uh, that's that's really odd. But I'm at, at least I'm getting better at recognizing that charge attack. But now I've tried it like four or five times, and he's jumping into the enemy. Maybe something about the camera, I don't know. Maybe I'm holding forward. Yeah, I think maybe that's the problem. Maybe I'm holding forward and running. I, maybe I need to. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. Hold the change direction on the keyboard, not on the mouse. Nope. And left. Still jumps forward. That's not the right move. Now I know. Anyways... Ugh, there we go. Yeah. Maybe I jump backwards. Yeah, yeah. I need, I'm, I'm gonna try jumping backwards. I'm gonna double jump backwards, see what happens. Maybe force slow is the correct move, but at, at some point I'm gonna run out of force slows. <laughs> But now we know for sure that jumping to the side is not the right move. Been a little bit unlucky with the couple starts here. Ah, I jumped again. Ugh. No. I'm supposed to jump backwards. Not sure if the jump distance is gonna be high enough though. I mean, long enough. We'll try. If I can remember. I've been jumping so much now, it's kinda being programmed. <laughs> so I need to reprogram. Ugh, now I just messed up. I've just messed up all my uh, 
all my mental preparations, we've had like six or seven runs where it's just been charging in the beginning. Almost missed that jump up. Maybe I should keep my distance first. Maybe it does... Uh... Nah, I don't think so. I'm just get bomb rush. That was a wall. Yeah, I don't know how to deal with that. I really don't know how to deal with that. Is it a block? Let's try. Maybe it's a block. I seriously doubt you can just casually block a 500 ton chubby lizard jumping at you, but... Or charging at you, but... Uh, but let's try. Maybe it's block. that up. Big time. Interestingly enough, I didn't even have to ju uh, jump away from that uh, slam attack. I just walked back. At least I think that's what happened. <laughs> Oh, I forgot what I was gonna do. I was gonna block. Ugh, I'm just uh, complicated. Like, I'm just messing up my own head here. Like, I'm messing up all the patterns. Kind of forgetting which one to parry, which one to jump, which one to... Uh, timings and stuff like that. My head is getting too crowded. gonna block uh. you know what's the most annoying of all it's that yellow glow he has that is the worst thing it really messes up the visual cues so much I wish it wasn't there to be honest I wish it was like some other kind of cue and I wish the slow-mo wasn't there too It's really distracting. I need to fi figure out a way to disable it. Okay, let's try again. No. Blocking doesn't work. Yeah, I don't know how to... I actually don't know how to... Um How to deal with that move. The only thing I can think of now at this point is a perfectly timed evade. And I've been having to deal with that in the beginning of the fight so much that my pirate timing on the other moves have... Uh, I don't know. Been messed up. Yeah. That's bad. That is really bad. 
being charged so much and trying to figure out how to deal with it kind of messed up how uh, my routine on the other stuff. Maybe just walking. <laughs> Maybe sprinting away is the right way. What happens if you sprint while targeting? Let me try. I can't sprint while targeting. Now I'm just trying to figure stuff out. <laughs> like I need to understand how to de deal with that move. Can't jump. Can't block. Can't parry. Can't sprint. Or can't walk away. Like walk around. So the only thing is like a tight evade. Be slow. But what happens if you run out of slow? Okay, let's go. There's also a question of that move. I also know there's a third move I haven't encountered, and that's the ranged attack with a tongue. Because I saw it one time earlier. I need to stop jumping, I think. I seriously have to stop uh, jumping. It's not as good as I initially thought it was. Oh, this slow. Oh, this force regain slow. Why are you even in the game? I don't get it. It is so disruptive. You'd think that slowing the game down would help you, but it just messes up your built-in timing. I might be getting mildly frustrated right now. But it's not even at the boss fight. I'm super frustrated at the, uh, the slow mechanic when you regain your stuff. Honestly, wish it wasn't here. Just attack one time. I actually forgot what I was gonna try. A yeah, dash, that's what I was gonna try. Maybe I need to keep my distance a little bit. Maybe the problem is that I'm too close to the guy. And I don't have time to dash. Maybe the distance gives me a little bit more of a dash window. Let's try it out. The thing is, I'm not entirely sure what my parry and light lightsaber range is. 100%. So. Let's try this. Okay, I messed it up. I actually got it. I got the dodge. I actually got the timing. I think I dodged uh, one. So I know it's evaded now. Interestingly enough, I managed to get the timing right because of the slow from recovering my stuff. Anyways, now we know. No need to experiment anymore. It's the evade. That is the key. And also, I managed to dodge the tongue attack again, and I have no idea how. Both of the times I've dodged it, I've done it by accident, so I'm, at some point I'm gonna die to that too. Look forward to that. I don't. 
go for a second. Oh no, I messed up. That's my bad. Way too soon. Way too soon. But I'm getting back into the rhythm. I, I can do this. I can do this. Kill this little turd. I shall do it. For the glory of YouTube. I think I have one more, yeah. Too late, maybe. Yeah, that that evade window is tight as hell. I might have to get into the habit of just holding back, like holding backwards, just to create some uh, some space between myself and uh, what do we call him? At at this point, we're so uh, like we're like we're more than just strangers. We need to name him Turd Belly. Let's call him Turd Belly. I think that's fine. Yeah, I need to like create some space between. Ah, shit, I pressed the sprint button. Uh, we need to create some space between us and Turd Belly. Cause um, one of the issues might be that we're just too close when he's doing the charge thing, and he tends to move forwards when he attacks. So the, s the extra space shouldn't uh, make it a problem to attack him. Or to parry, so let's try it. Let's try it. Maybe let's get into the habit of holding back. Even a couple steps might increase to the evade window enough. I really don't want to get into like only doing one attack, but it seems like that's the safest thing. At least we know we don't have to dodge or panic jump away from the slam, we can just walk backwards. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm trying to incorporate that. Seems to work really well. I haven't had any issues dealing with the jump. Belly smash. Turd belly is a tough one. Not gonna lie. So let's see if we can. We're doing well. We're actually doing well. We're getting into the rhythm again. Uh, but that thing, that double bite, that's also a little bit tricky. It's a little bit deceptive. I'm confident I can do this. Even though the video is getting a little bit long. <gasps> what? <laughs> what were you parrying? <laughs> what? <laughs> it was like parrying at 90 degrees to all, like off directions. Like, where are you? Ugh. 
I even got the parry timing right. It's just what, whatever. That was kind of that was kind of weird. <laughs> Wow, that was insane recovery. Holy bananas. I didn't think he would be able to recover so fast after that heavy attack. But we got the dodge. We got it. We got the dodge. I dodged the charge attack. Charge attack. We are getting closer, step by step, to Turd Belly's defeat. We are getting there. Just hope soon. <laughs> ah. Huh? Ah! What's happening? What was it? I think I think I just completely messed up the uh, targeting. I, I don't know what happened, uh, but I learned something. Dashing the tongue is hard, so I'm just gonna dump it, <laughs> jump it. Just gonna jump the tongue attack. At least you got to see what it looks like to be eaten. Maybe we're getting, we're cataloging his movesets a little by little. Yeah, we need to stop. I think we just need to stop moving. In, in the beginning of the fight. Because there's something wonky going on when you're running. Like the direction is a little bit off. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stand still. I don't really need to run to him. It's not like I'm getting in a cheap attack or anything. So yeah, as you clearly can see, I don't really play this type of Souls games. One more. God, we had a perfect run. I went in for the greedy second. No, I lost focus. Ah, oh, man, we're doing well. Oh, we're doing well. We're getting to the point where I could have used uh, slow to actually cheese him down too. Ay, ay, ay. Ugh, close, 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 close. The bosses are relentless though. Don't even take half a second to wait. Take a breather, <laughs> just attack, attack, attack. <laughs> okay, a little bit slow. Absolutely relentless.
That's it. There we go. No, 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 no. I got the timing. I got the parry timing game. I disagree. I did have to jump one of the slams there. Because um, I wasn't confident in the timing. I think I may have been a little bit slow. Oh, what? I almost died. But I disagree with that decision. I think I got the timing down. And third belly. What? What is going on? Okay. No! No! Oh my god, what is happening? Just so much weird shit happened. Like, you were starting to force levitate, levitate as well? Like, does everybody in this universe know how to force levitate? Shit, we got so low as well. We got him so... You know what? I'm gonna use force slow. From now on, whenever he does the charge thing. We got in a good chunk of damage. Man, we were so close! Oh, that messed me up so bad. Ugh. I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I panicked. at the, When he did the charge attack at the end, I was like, oh, fuck. No. I mean, oh, fudge, no. Going straight for the attack, yeah. Yeah, you can see it right there. Just from... Just starting the attack from the other direction there. Oh man, we're so close. We're so close to beating Turtle Belly. I may have used a... Uh, one of those force uh, thingies a little bit poorly. The force slow on the other fight there. I messed up. I went for a double attack after the slam. I shouldn't. Because after a slam, his recovery is so quick. If he does a double, uh, the double bite attack, I just can't get the parry down. Fast enough, I think. <sighs> Man, why did I go for the... And force slow didn't even work there. It was weird. Something is cutting the force, uh, force slow duration short. And I don't know what it is. Ah oh, man, I messed up. I, I wasn't even sure what the hell I was doing there. I messed up. Ugh, oh, big time. Crap. Ugh. I hope we don't get these several sequences of him doing that shit move. We got 
got this. Oh, almost died. Got this, we got this. Man, we're so close. That one attempt there, that was like the closest we've ever been. Yeah, uh, my brain is programmed to just expect that charge move now. That's bad. This time, I'm gonna stop a few meters away from him. Not gonna lie, struggling a little bit. I don't know if my progress is good or not. I feel like I should have been doing better. Honestly, I messed up a little bit too much. Don't lie, a little bit disappointed. What? Oh, he's doing a jump. weird that the parry didn't work I'm not gonna lie I uh... that's a little bit weird I'm not entirely sure how my timing was off right there Oh, I'm I'm trying to think about it. I uh, not sure. God dang it! Uh, that I saw there was off. That was way too early. But I noticed I could just sidestep that thing, actually. That double bite, I could just sidestep it. Or side evade it. Because it come but it has to be on the correct side, I think. I tried the second side. I tried uh, on the first attempt there I sidestepped it to the right and it worked. But I died, I tried to sidestep to the left, it didn't work. Not sure if you heard that, I'm sorry. God dang it. But yeah, um... Because he goes to my right and then he attacks in. So he's cutting in from the right. Maybe I just have to sidestep, get in a bunch of attacks. Because he goes for the double. And then he probably goes for the belly smash. Which I have time to jump if if it comes to it. just figure it out, I guess. Seems like I have to cut the episode here, actually. This episode is getting long. So let's just do that right away. And then I'll be right back. I'm not stopping until this thing is dead. Be right back. <laughs> 